crime is becoming very an issue. I know people won't get on the subway. It, it, people rearrange their day around it. Crime is out of control in New York City. When you get too lax, these type of things happen. You know, during these times, you know, you know, people are desperate. It's all political. That's why he's coming. I think the president can help, uh, like uh, some funding from federal government to help the city, you know, the fight like gun violence. I think it's a total waste. He's going to do absolutely nothing to help New York City. If the president can play the middle role, but if he plays on the side of the left and keeps talking about the whole defunding agenda, it's not going to happen. Political. It's all political. That's why he's coming for no other reason, and to give Mayor Adams support, I guess. Every president, there's a lot of, um, they sell dreams. Let's see what happens. I grew up in this city, and I'm 75 years old, and I cannot believe what's happened in this city. As a New Yorker, because I have a business here, it's very challenging to have people comfortable walking in the streets. My mom speaks to me every night. She's scared to go out. You know, unfortunately, where she lives at, crime is up in the Bronx. Oh, of course, crime has definitely gone up. You know, in the subways, there are instances, instances in the Bronx that I hear about. I never used to hear about all these things. Even my customers, they're been, being very afraid after five o'clock to walk in the city. It's, it's been a problem since before COVID when they passed the bail and discovery laws. The state legislature passed them, Cuomo pushed them through, and it's changed everything. You know, unfortunately, a lot of people are doing bad. You know, COVID, um, when people don't have money, crime goes up. Sadly, no one is caring. No one is taking care of all these issues.